Hey everybody. Okay, this is gonna be a quick all signs reading for this weekend. What you can expect in love. Let's see if anybody's making a romantic gesture towards you this weekend. Now, honestly, these messages could be predictive. It don't have to be this specific weekend. We're just gonna see if anybody's making any romantic gestures towards you. What's going on romantically this weekend? Holy Spirit, holy angels, protect me as I go with them. Keep me safe. Angels, ancestors of love, light, health, and wealth, protect me. Protect my home, protect my space, protect the messages. Return to sender any and all negativity. Close all doors to no negativity can sneak in. I sure ain't. All right. We will do from Aries to Pisces. Happy birthday, Aries. I'm open for personal readings. Check the description box. Thank you, everybody, for booking readings, um, purchasing extended, purchasing my products and services. Check out my website. Everything you need is going to be there. Check the description box. It's linked. and My website is linked in the description box. Thank you, everybody, for your love and support. Thank you for your love donations as well. All right. Starting with Aries. What's going on for Aries this weekend in love? All right, we have Cupid's arrow coming out for you. Beautiful. Have faith that love is coming, Aries. There's a surprise invitation. You could be meeting somebody by surprise. You will, ain't even expecting it, okay? You might be a little hesitant because it's something out the blue. It's something new. All right, we have photograph. Now, somebody could be looking at your photos. Somebody you meet online. Yeah, this could be somebody you meet online, the two of wands, but this is your energy. All right, what's going on for Aries in love? Wow, we have the Ace of Cups, the Nine of Wands. There's new love, and you could be a little hesitant, closed off, because you might feel like somebody's being sneaky or not telling you the whole truth. Clarify the Nine of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles. This could be somebody that moves a little slow. Maybe the way you two communicate is different. Maybe you both have been hurt before. Clarify the Seven of Swords. You know this person. We have the Tower and the Knight of Wands. It's actually two people coming in. And you don't know which one is the player. You don't know which one is the real one. The one that moves a little slower seems to be the one that's more stable. Okay, because somebody's moving a little too fast. Coming in out the blue. Possibly wanting to come to your home and things like that. So you actually have multiple options possibly. Or if it's just one person, if you do want to talk to them, Aries, they got to slow down. Okay, so I see no majors came out except for Scorpio, but I see water, fire, earth, and air. All right. Okay, this is for Taurus. What's going on for Taurus? In love this weekend. This is for Taurus. We have hammer. So if there was anything that was broken, somebody could be wanting to fix it. It's happening rapidly, sporadically. This is like the tower here. Okay. Somebody could be wanting to rebuild after they broke or ruined whatever it is. The Knight of Cups, yes, someone is making a romantic gesture towards you, possibly an apology. The Five of Wands, because y'all were arguing and fighting. Now, this apology, you might not want to hear it. You might still be a little hesitant fighting with this person, Five of Cups. I don't think you'll forgive them. And it's going to be a shock because your intuition is telling you something with the High Priestess. Clarify the High Priestess for Taurus. Yeah, we do have temperance. You do want balance. You do want peace with this person, but your intuition is telling you not, not at this time. I'm going to hold my peace during this time. So now it could go a couple of different ways. This person could be wanting to rebuild after sabotaging because 
it just seems like a cycle. You guys argue, break up, and then come back together. Now, this person possibly wants to make up with you, but their intuition is telling them now it's not the right time. I'm going to give Taurus some more time because we're just going to argue and fight. Vice versa. You could be wanting to apologize. They're like, no, not right now. They could be wanting to apologize. You're like, no, right now, whatever have you, okay? The majors that came out was Pisces, Sagittarius. I see water and fire and earth. Okay. Gemini. All right. What's going on for Gemini this weekend in love? This is for Gemini. Somebody likes you. Somebody says, I like. I like the way you look at me. Someone likes you, Gemini. Romance is blooming. There's fun. You guys are flirting. You want a date. Yeah, here's the queen and the king of pentacles here. You could be dating an earth sign. You or this person has earth in their chart. I feel like this could be something serious for you, Gemini. Here's the relationship. Yeah, I feel like there's something romantic for you as well, Gemini. Here's the Eight of Wands. Communicating. Somebody's traveling to your home. You guys are talking about your morals, your values. Talking about the things you have in common. We have the hangman. And we have the lovers. On top of that, the Ace of Cups. So, somebody is making a romantic gesture towards you. Now, this could be an apology. You're getting a call, a text. Somebody wants to hang out, come towards you, or you come towards them. This could possibly be a date. This is a romantic gesture, what have you. Somebody could. There's a bunch of different Geminis out there. The person could be doing a bunch of different things, okay? Uh, clarify the hangman. It could be a Pisces or a Gemini, water sign or fire sign. The hangman and the tower. So if there is any stagnancy, somebody's realizing something, letting go of something, any type of hurt, betrayal, drama, letting that go. Clarify the hangman. The four swords. Yeah, just don't want to, somebody don't want any type of arguing drama or stress. Here's that new beginning. Somebody likes you, okay? I feel like somebody's just been holding back, telling you they like you, then the tower. Yes, I'm going to finally tell you I like you so they can just get it off their chest, okay? So four could be important. The number four could be important. You do have a new beginning here. A new love offer. Could be with the same person or a different person, but we have fire, air, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, water. all right we have photograph that jumped out for you aries got this as well looking at your photos missing you nostalgia make new memories somebody could be looking at your photos somebody could be missing you you guys could be going through some nostalgia right now you know the retrograde is coming up but you or this person needs to make new memories. We have the Nine of Cups going to the Ten of Cups. Somebody wanted a family, children to move in, all of that. That was the wish fulfillment they wanted. All right. The Four of Wands. Now, you two could still be in a relationship and just arguing. The Six of Cups, I see y'all making up. Y'all have children together. Here they are communicating with you. The Queen of Swords, y'all got into an argument. You're mad at this person, but with the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Pentacles with the Three of Cups, y'all are working this out. Y'all are working this out. Somebody's going to apologize to you. The other person is still going to be mad, possibly. This Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, this Queen of Swords. Um, But they can't stop thinking about you. The crazy thing is, is I feel like this person is mad at you and holding a grudge toward you. But they're the ones who miss you so much. They're going to come back to try to mend things with you. Okay. I don't know if you really did do something. Cancer. I was going to say Scorpio. I don't know if you did do something. But uh, this person is. You probably didn't even do anything. This person is just probably mad. Could be a Gemini. But they miss you. 
they are making a romantic gesture towards you. They're looking at your photos, missing you, wanting to reunite, at least clear the air, the will of fortune, whatever happens. I feel like you two are going to work things out to be together or work things out to separate, but just stop being mad at each other. I see water, fixed energy, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, air, earth, fire, Gemini. Uh, all right. All right, that was Cancer. Let's move on to Leo. All right, Leo, any romantic happenings for you? What's going on for Leo this weekend in love? The golden mirror. All right, Leo. There, somebody self-absorbed. It could be you or this person that's self-absorbed. You could be in a one-sided relationship with the narcissist. And somebody could be love bombing. You could be love bombing this person. This person could be love bombing you. I pray this don't resonate with me because it could be a Scorpio. It could be somebody you stop talking to. Um, the Three of Swords. This is somebody you know. You stop talking to them. This person might be coming in to because they're upset, still heartbroken. The Two of Swords. So we have the Three and Two of Swords. Somebody's Sad, upset, heartbroken, a disagreement, a breakup, and ignoring the other person. Or you two are ignoring each other. The two of wands. And you, you, you guys don't want to get back together. But there's still some type. If y'all don't want to get back together, how are y'all still in contact to argue with each other? If it's over. Yeah, it's clearly not over. There's a closure issue here. Somebody's still in love with the other person. We have the Empress. Somebody's still in love with the other person. Secretly, deep down, does still want to work on it. And I think that's why there's so much um, confusion and strife. Because there's, it's just somebody, I feel like somebody hasn't admitted for one that they are in love. Uh, they're in love with you or you haven't admitted that you're in love with them. There's too, too much hurt, too much backstabbing, too much fighting, too much turning your back and going a different direction on each other. I mean, but it's a narcissistic relationship. There's really nothing else that's coming from this. Y'all two will probably get into a disagreement. That's really it. Somebody could be love bombing you and you two wind up getting into an argument. But there's a lot of hurt that you two, if you want to, you can try talking about. But remember, this person is possibly a narcissist. No need to engage in that. So I see we saw Scorpio a lot, Libra, Taurus. Fire and air. All right. Let me speed this up. All right, Virgo. What's going on for Virgo this weekend in love? All right, we got the butterfly. Your relationship is evolving to the next phase. You are he healing your inner child. There's a lot of growth coming for you. So this is beautiful. Virgo, y'all are healing, growing, evolving. The emperor, yeah, somebody is growing, maturing, evolving, taking control of their life. The Queen of Pentacles, very stable, an upstanding person. King of King of Pentacles, a lot of um, just grown, mature, logical, stable energy for you. The Ace of Cups, this is a very stable, equal give and take, Six of Pentacles relationship. The Ace of Swords, yeah, all is well for you. So your relationship is evolving into a higher level of commitment with the Emperor and the Queen of Pentacles. You two are having a discussion about it. Y'all could possibly be moving in together, but you're healing your inner child. There's You two are going to the next phase in your relationship, and there's a lot of growth here for you. So that's nice. All right. Libra. What's going on for Libra in love this weekend?
coffin. So what's going on for you is you ended something. Endings bring new beginnings. You ended one thing. That way you can grow and change your life. You had to end one way of thinking, one way of doing. You possibly moved. You had to end a behavior. Or possibly you just ended a relationship. Or you set boundaries. You put an end to letting people talk to you a certain way. Do you a certain way. Whatever it is. It brought forth a new beginning so that you can be liberated, set free, and transition. We got the two of wands here. Could be dealing with an Aries or any other fire sign. Making a decision which route you're going to take. Page of Cups. I feel like you could be going towards somebody to give them some type of love proposal. Somebody's coming towards you. The Four of Cups. But I don't know if you'll accept. The Four of Cups could be denying an offer. Because you're unsure. There's possibly too many options. Five of Wands. There's too many options to choose from. And there's burdens here. So what I'm seeing is Libra. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles though. Clarify the Four of Cups. The Devil. Yikes! Yikes! <laughs> and oh my gosh. Okay, the Eight of Wands. Queen of Wands. Yikes! Clarify the page of cups. All I'm seeing is, I'm not going to lie, Libra, this is different. So what I'm seeing, so you are deciding, you're either deciding to end one thing and go towards another thing. You're deciding, so this is could be what's going on. You were sleeping around with somebody, talking to somebody, you know, you had a boo thing or whatever, you know, and... I think you don't want to do that no more. You don't want to dip no more. You don't want to side piece no more. You don't you don't want to sneaky link no more. It's too much burdens. I feel like this person is hitting you up for sex and you're like, no, with the four of cups. But you're very attracted to this person. The eight of wands and the queen of wands, they know exactly what to do, exactly what to say to tempt you. So what I'm seeing is you just don't want to go down the road of temptation no more, to be honest. You want to do something more positive in your life because it's caused too many burdens. And you possibly start started liking somebody else and you actually want to be in a relationship and you're wondering like, okay, are we just going to be sleeping around? But now you feel like this person isn't giving as much as you or something, okay? We have a lot of tools, so a lot of decisions to make, but I do see a lot of fire as well. Too much passion, not enough logic. The, no air came out. Um... Not enough emotion either. The Page of Swords is a very fickle, childish energy with the Four of Cups, a uh, rejection type of energy. So what I'm seeing is with this, the reason temptation is so heavy because maybe this person is running from you. You're chasing them. The chase is fun. It's tempting. You know, they're kind of acting like standoffish. They don't like you. And that's how they keep luring you in. But you kind of keep feeling stupid. Or vice versa. That's how this person feels. Because it's not fun no more. Okay, we got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Too much fire. Um, a little bit of Earth, which is more Capricorn. All right. We got, we're going on to Scorpio. What's going on for you in love this weekend, Scorpio? This is for Scorpio. So we got separation. It flipped over, but it, it didn't come out the deck. So some of you Scorpios could be sad. You're missing somebody. You're thinking about someone. You're yearning and you're unsure about your future. Vice versa. Somebody's sad. Scorpio, they miss you. They're yearning for you. They're unsure about the future. Now, others of you, this person that misses you and y'all separated from, y'all could be going on a date or you're going on a date with a completely different person because it says meeting someone new, Scorpio. So what's going on in love for you is 
you could have been unsure about your future, especially in your relationships, but there's a date that's coming up for you, Scorpio, so don't be sad, okay? You're meeting somebody new, you're dating, get back out there, all right? Plan and set a date. So this is cute. This is very cute. Very, very cute. All right, Scorpio. the six of cups yeah there's love coming in and so if you are sad or just feeling alone there's love coming in some healing gifts possibly a gift could just be somebody being sweet to you okay seven of pentacles investing taking your time and really growing that growing that seed planting and growing that seed with the queen of cups there somebody's expressing their feelings and emotions towards you queen of cups three of cups so some i i don't know I do feel like this person that you're separated from that's missing you and thinking about you, y'all could be going on a date. I know the card says meeting someone new, but this could be whoever is missing you, Scorpio. They could be a new person, all right? Or just a completely person you ain't never met before. Whatever it is. You're going on a date. You're feeling good about it. And this is a very stable connection. The Ten of Pentacles, you feel completely secure within this. You feel completely reassured and secure in investing in this and sticking with this for a long time okay yeah the hair print y'all could be getting into a high level of commitment with somebody so that was taurus and we saw we see a lot of water cancer pisces scorpio energy and then we see earth Hi Sagittarius, what is going on for you and love this weekend? Let's go, Sag. We got lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. So there could be sudden change going on in your love life. Shocking news in regards to your love life. A surprise you're getting an epiphany now there could be some upheaval and transformation in regard to your love and romantic life all right this is for Sagittarius mm. all right the Hierophant you guys could be dealing with the Taurus Scorpio Libra we got the three of Pentacles the Queen of Cups The Three of Swords. Okay, we have the Two of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Here's the King and Queen of Cups. But I'm just not sure what's going on. And I don't see y'all breaking up. I see y'all possibly getting into a disagreement or an argument. Sudden change. I'm not sure what this change is. But we do have... Two threes, three of pentacles, three of swords, plus the two of pentacles. Clarify the three of swords. Okay, we have the high priestess plus the hangman. So somebody... Sorry somebody i feel like somebody's feelings changed or something something's going on because the two of pentacles and the king of cups here somebody is wavering in their feelings getting unstable in their emotions possibly and there could be i don't know somebody could be having some things going on with their mental health or something going on with their emotions they could be moody very emotional hiding secrets um being very mysterious being withdrawn they could they they just start changing now that could be what's going on like somebody changed can you i don't know why it could be a number of reasons why can we try to figure out what is going on judgment but this is a card of forgiveness the 
The seven of swords. Okay, so you and the magician, somebody's lying, being distant, being sneaky, uh, acting funny. And you can feel it. Your intuition is telling you and it's breaking your heart. It's like, it's, it's hard. It's hard for you to continue being with this person because you feel something is off. You feel it so strongly. Something's off. Something's not right. I feel like you're lying. You're cheating. Now, you could have, this person could have lied and cheated before and you got back together with them, but it's eating you up inside because you really truly ain't forgive them. It's hard being with them because you're wondering if they're going to do it again. Or you could be finding out because this is lightning. It's a shock. Sudden news that somebody done did something here. So we got air, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Earth, water, Pisces, more Pisces, Taurus, Libra, water. what that was about in your reading next week i'll do another reading for all signs next week sag see if we can get more um information on what is going on all right capricorn capricorn you could be dealing with the leo what's going on for capricorn in love this weekend Ooh, passion you could be dealing with the taurus as well so insane chemistry for you, Taurus. You guys like each other equally. <laughs> so you like somebody as much as they like you. Somebody likes you as much as you like them, finally. Okay. And you guys are having fun. Yeah, the lovers. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes. Insane chemistry. Ooh, justice. I like this for you. Let's see. This is for Capricorn, please. We got the Ten of Wands, insane chemistry. I feel like the chemistry is so heavy, deep, and passionate. Y'all nasty. All right, the Chariot. Okay, could be dealing with the Fire Sign or Cancer. We got the Eight of Swords. You feel stuck. The Three of Pentacles. I don't feel like you want to let it go, though, because of how strong and insane the passion and chemistry is yeah judgment you don't want to let it go the hangman and the lovers Ooh, we we got the sun and the fool Ooh, y'all a fool for each other you make each other very happy this is something that you clearly want to do with the chariot I don't, I feel like you don't see your way out of it. No way. Yeah. The ace of swords. I mean, of course you could get out of it. The, with the eight of swords, you could, but you don't want to. I think this is somewhere you really want to be. You want this person to tie you down. Yeah. The empress. You want this person to tie you down. How, how does this person feel about Capricorn? Whoever this person is, that they have all this passion for okay i like this they do want to be with you i just wanted to see what it was all about you both make each other very happy remember we do have you like each other equally so they feel how they feel about you is how you feel about them vice versa they like they want to have victory success in a new big stable beginning with you it's growth and expansion with you Okay, I like it. I just, I wanted to see if it was just the passion thing, but it's more, it's deeper than passion. It is. You two get along so well. I don't, I didn't see any cups. That's the only reason why I asked. I was like, where are the cups? But it's working out for you guys. Don't forget to, you know, take your time, take things slow. I feel like this is a blessing here. Yeah, that's what I was feeling. Take your time. Take things slow. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Wands. As things progress, don't forget to sort out the things you need to sort out. There's more than one way on how to um, resolve issues. It's more than just passion on how you can resolve issues. You can communicate, change different ways, get to know your person even more. You know, because I'm seeing this progressing. But don't let... um too much passion blind you from the real important things in your relationship. Okay. All right. 
Fixed energy, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, Fire, Pisces, Aries, Aquarius, Leo, Gemini, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Earth, Fire, Cancer, Air. All right, Capricorn, y'all got one of the best readings. Let's go to Aquarius. All right. Holy Spirit, what's going on for Aquarius in love this weekend? Okay. Thank you. We have addiction, Aquarius. You could be codependent. This person could be codependent. Someone is obsessed over someone or something possessive, controlling, um, could have blockages. Things are restraining them and hindering them or you. Or you feel attached, a tied and weighed down to this person. You don't even have to be with them, but there's a attachment, a weight. You feel chained to them. I was cutting the deck or did I already cut it? Did I already cut it? I don't think I did. Okay. The Queen of Wands could be an, a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, the Hanged Man. Okay, you're attached to the sex or you're attached to the passion. The Page of Cups. And then whenever you reach out to this person, it's really just on a very fickle, passionate thing. You don't really like this person like that. The Four of Pentacles. You don't really like them like that. But for some reason... There's some type of codependency. And with the Queen of Wands, yeah, and look, the Seven of Swords. The Queen of, with the Seven of Swords, what I'm seeing is the Emperor, the Eight of Wands. What I'm seeing is the Seven of Swords kind of tells me that the Queen of Wands is not as confident as she makes herself out to be. Because we have a page, a page of cups here. Very fickle energy, very in and out energy, very unsure of themselves is what the Page of Cups is. Now, this could be you or this person. They could be codependent on you, coming to you like they're just all confident and things like that when they're not. Okay. Anything else about this spread, please, for Aquarius? We have the Ten of Wands, the World, the Two of Wands. So what I'm seeing is you actually have already closed the cycle. You probably talk to this person from time to time, but it's nothing on a romantic level. I feel like spirit is, the reason why this is coming out in your reading is because you guys are ultimately healing. Um, you possibly wonder why you are thinking about this person, why you feel like you can't shake them or why you feel like you keep feeling their energy. There is still a tie here, okay? Some type of block, some type of restraint. It could be energetically. It could be more than just energetically, y'all. A lot of times, like, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of times, no matter what we do, Reiki, cord cutting, spiritual baths, a lot of times, none of that shit works on unbinding you and, and removing you from somebody. It really takes one or all of those things on top of intentionally never wanting to think about that person again, never wanting to see that person again, taking those feelings and emotions and thoughts just out of your mind, heart, body, spirit. It's a lot of work. It ain't no one and done thing, y'all. Okay. Especially if it's been years and you still feel attacked. It's not no one and done thing. Okay. But Spirit is saying, you guys are healing. You guys won't have to be... Yeah, hear all that sword right there. You guys will not be attached to this person too much longer. You guys will not be plagued with thoughts of this person too much longer. You guys are going to be set free. Okay? And don't let them... Because I feel like the reason why you kind of feel this way is because this person feels small. Aquarius don't feel small. At least you shouldn't. You're an Aquarius. Okay? You guys are moving into a new direction, taking control of your life. Yeah, we got the Six of Swords. It's one and done. It's one and done. No more will people be able to just be 
siphoning your energy. I talked to my sister about this. Okay. I don't know what or how it could be happening. Some somehow people find ways to do things. Um, tell me more about addiction, please. But what I'm seeing is look at the picture, look at the imagery. It's her heart that has her chained. Her feelings and emotions that's really weighing her down. I'm not saying don't use your heart. I'm not saying don't love. But what I'm saying, don't let it be your detriment. Don't let it be a weight and a chain that you just drag around with you for the rest of your life. No, y'all are Aquarius. Y'all supposed to be free. You got to be a lot more freer than that. Because whatever story you're telling yourself, that ain't your story no more. It ain't. It ain't. Y'all got some soul ties. I feel y'all got some soul ties here with whoever this is. Time to let them go. So what I'm seeing is what's going on in love for you this weekend. You guys are healing. You don't want you don't want to feel nobody in your energy no more. You don't want to be connected or tied to nobody no more. It soon is coming to an end. I see a lot of fire, air, cancer, Pisces, fixed energy, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, more fire, a lot of fire, water, Aquarius, air, earth. Things is changing. Start, start changing, start, start mixing up the energy within yourself, within your home. Do some yoga, switch your room around. Go exercise, take you a detox. Shit, start juicing, start fasting. Because there's a, um, there's a scripture in the Bible and I'm almost done with y'all Aquarius. There's a scripture in the Bible and it says like certain type of spirits and things like that. The only way to get rid of them and cast them out it is by like fasting as well. I just remembered that. Okay. So pray fast. Do what you feel. You pray to do what God is telling you to do. What is God telling you to do? If you don't know, then ask. All right. Last but not least, Pisces. All right, what's going on for Pisces and love this weekend? Pisces. Ooh. All right, we have I like you. Somebody likes you, Pisces. Jim and I got this energy. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, Pisces. You're going to have fun. You're flirting with somebody. You want to date them. They want to... Date you, excuse me. We do have heartbroken. So if you are heartbroken, I feel like you guys will be getting over that. Grieving, mourning. But getting over it. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment coming in for you. Happiness, loving yourself. Ten of Pentacles, being stable. Oh, I just had a taste for barbecue. Y'all eating barbecue this weekend? I had the chariot, got the seven of swords, five of wands, ace of wands, five of cups. A lot of changes going on for you. So I feel like this heartbroken energy is mixed in for you. We have heartbroken Pisces, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. So in the midst of you grieving, mourning, feeling lost, and things like that, it's going to take you finding that happiness within yourself, the nine of cups, and becoming stable, okay? Getting even closer and more grounded, especially within your circle, your connections. This is going to help you move forward um, and get out of that stuck, heartbroken energy, I do see a new beginning coming for you with the Ace of Wands, but it does still look like there are some um, things that you need to tie up, some loose ends that need to be tied up from the past. This could be past people coming in still being the same, talking about they changed when they haven't. Tell me what the Seven of Swords is about for Pisces. 
the King of Cups. Now, this could be you. Clarify the Five of Wands for Pisces. The Five of Wands, the Fool. You don't trust your emotions. We got the Five of Cups. A lot came out. Six of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, Three of Swords. Don't know how it came out reverse. I'll keep it reverse. We got the King of Pentacles and the Devil reverse with this Five of Cups. I feel like this is, ooh, the Five of Swords. So what I'm seeing is with this, I like you. This, before you be in a relationship with this person, I feel like you guys are going to be going through some healing. Really releasing the negativity and the toxicity. Um, healing more. Not being heartbroken anymore. I feel like you guys are really going on that journey of loving yourself. I know everybody always talks about that self-love, rah, rah shit. But on some real shit, Pisces. I'm seeing you're going to be met with the dark side of yourself. You're going to have to face yourself. Face the truth. You know, you're going to have to face... The things that hurt you, the people that hurt you, your addictions, toxicity. You're going to have to face the little parts of yourself that sabotage. You're going to have to face, you know, if you, if you really for real about your boundaries with people. Are you for real? Because here goes somebody coming to try you, test you, pull your card, you know, try to pull your whole card. Um, who are you? Who who are you for real, Pisces? Who do you want to be when it comes to who you say you are? Who you say you want to be? Because there's a lot of um a lot of work that needs to be done. I do see you doing it, Pisces, but I feel like it all comes from yes, self love. But I think you actually are realizing and seeing somebody really does like you. Romance is blooming. This person, the way that they like you, somehow is triggering you to want to become a better person. Okay? Now, this is just the energy and story that I'm getting for you. Okay? So, I'm seeing a lot of things are actually going to be pulled up. A lot of your insecurities, a lot of your doubts, a lot of your fears, a lot of your traumas. It's going to be, it's going to come out, Pisces. Are you ready to conquer it, work through it, heal from it, grow from it? Okay. So, I see Earth, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Water, Fire, Air. Air, fire, water, Capricorn, air, and more air. I like it. I love it. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel, you guys. Don't forget you can book personal readings with me. Donate to the channel. Until I see you all again, y'all be safe. I love y'all. Bye.